Tonight we're hearing from the family of one of four people who died in a wrong way crash. It happened in Calusa County on Monday morning. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman and I'm Nikki Lorenzo. We've since learned that the three men in the car hit by the wrong way driver were all related. Fox 40's Monica Deonda joining us now live from the Orangeville neighborhood where one of those men, Quincy Loveless, spent his final moments with his moms and siblings. Monica. Nikki, Eric, it was in this Orangeville neighborhood where Quincy was at having family dinner just two weeks ago. His mom tells me they were laughing, enjoying each other's company and just spending precious family time together. What she never expected was that that would be the last day she would have all her kids under the same roof. That's my baby. That's my baby. Quincy Lovelace is Deanna Clark's youngest, and she loved to spoil her baby. Family dinners were no exception made his favorite mac and cheese with bacon all over it. But family dinners will now look different. They literally had just hopped back on the road and then it happened. Early Monday morning, the car Quincy was traveling in with three other family members was hit head on by a wrong way driver on the I-5 southbound lanes by Fairview Road. Quincy, his cousin Christopher Martinez and uncle Timothy McDaniels all died at the scene. Their uncle David survived. The four of them were driving back from a trip to Seattle about one hour away from home. They live their life to the fullest. You felt like a million bucks just rolling with them. You know what I mean? That's how they make people feel when they're around them. Now, this family is left coping with the loss of three of their loved ones, a reality that's difficult to accept for Quincy's mother and siblings. His handsome face, his smile, um, his voice, not, not being able to, um, you know, can't, can't, can't hear his voice. He was the biggest hug. I feel like we we're really just reaching our peak of, of uh, just like a brotherly relationship. It sucks that it got cut short, but I'm, I'm super grateful that like we actually reached that point in our just relationship. Anthony says his brother Quincy and his cousin Christopher were two peas in a pod. Quincy and Chris talk every single day, probably. They, 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 they damn near live together. And their uncle Tim was someone everyone could confide in. He had just beaten cancer. He had right. just beat yeah, cancer. Just beat cancer. Yeah, just beat cancer. He was, he was super cool and funny, and it was always a good time. He was part of the crew. Anytime we traveled, if Uncle Tim's there, we know it's going to be a good time. As their family deals with this unimaginable loss, they want people to remember Quincy, Christopher, and their Uncle Tim for the way they chose to live life. They made sure that every day they got up, you know what I mean, they did what they loved, they lived life how they lived, they were respectful very respectful, very encouraging, and just amazing, amazing people. Like, like real, real life angels on this earth, they were. Eric Nicky, the family says it's the power of prayer that's keeping their extended family going through this difficult time. Now, as for their uncle, David, the sole survivor of this crash, he is still recovering in a Chico area area hospital, but is said to be in good spirits. Now, today I reached out to CHP to get an update on this investigation, and they tell me they are still awaiting the toxicology reports on that wrong way driver. Reporting live in Orangeville, Monica Deanda, Fox 40 News.